Let's check in on some of the final scores across the league tonight. The Maple Leafs battled it out against the Flames. Calgary pulverized the competition. All right, at this time, let's get you caught up on all the action on the ice tonight. The Devils were looking to steal two points against the Blue Jackets. Columbus tightened it up. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. And when you're hot, you are hot. And that is the way things have gone for the home team as of late. Let's see if they can keep it going tonight. Two teams looking stark for a win. And we are set to go. The Oilers will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here. Takes it at center. Moves it to McDavid. And that ricochets off a twig in front. Hammers one. Denies him. Marks himself in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. We always want to dictate pace when you start a game, and now they're back on their heels, taking the minor penalty. Looks like they weren't ready to go. Dry settles out here for the power play, guys. We know he's got that zone ability, and it could be a weapon here as they try to get on the board with the special teams. Edmonton's won the draw, they'll go to work. And a textbook pass save there. Feeds it to Kadri. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. Blocked in traffic. Calgary's regained possession of the puck. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Edmonton's ahead, 1-0. Nugent Hopkins takes possession right off the draw. Here they come on the attack. Great poke check on the reach. Here's a short pass to Albert. Takes the shot. Stops him cold. Skinner's going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Edmonton's looking to break out. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. Grabbed along the boards by Kane. Pass back to the point. Standing tall with the save. Here they are on the attack. The Flames play it along the wing. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Taken along the wall by Huberdeau. Puts the puck on net. Oh, what a save in front. And he takes a shot. Oh, he stops him with a top. Great, great flexes there. The Flames will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Swats at it with the club and got just enough of it. The Flames carried along the wall. The club off range. And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage in play and much needed at that. You can't overstate how timely important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. Calvary's won the faceoff. Takes a shot. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Lots of time left in this period. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Calgary's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and he misfires on that. Puck not loose after that hit. Stopped by the goaltender. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Lindholm. It's gone over to Kessel. Edmonton's got him across the line. Here's a shot, and he easily stops that one. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play.
And they win the draw on their own end. Quick feed to Tanev. Huberto's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Fogel. Quick pass to Kessel. Great reach with the poke check by Tanev. Calgary's got the puck against the half wall. Denies him! He got all of it! Shot! And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Picked up along the boards by McLeod. The Oilers take it along the wall. Lindholm made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feet at the back end. Has save, and he makes it look easy. Pass across to Hannafin. The Flames take it across the line. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Pokes it away in his own end. Taken by Hyman. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Slides it over to McDavid. Quick shot! And that goes off the glove and will play on. And here's the pass to Sharon Govich. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes possession. And that will stop. Edmonton's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save with the glove. Albert's got the puck in his own zone. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Through center along the wing. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Moves it quickly over to Kadri. And he takes the feed. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Let's scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. I, I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because he gets off his stick so fast. Still lots of time left in the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Backlund's won the draw at center. The Flames take it along the wall. Moves it to the middle. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. padre has been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Now a quick pass to Brown. Oh, a lights out hit in the open ice. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that's a just that. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Moves it to Uyghur. And he takes the pass. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. The Oilers win the defensive zone face-off. Quick pass across to Lindholm. And sends it just out of reach. Puck scooped up by Broker. Here's a short pass to Albert. Now he takes it over the line. Quick feed to Albert. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Shot! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Skinner! 
McDavid's greatest asset is his speed. His wheel zone ability means he can really fly when he's got the space to move. Albert's good at losing defenders with his spin around the zone ability. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Great save by Markstrom. And he slides it quickly to Bouchard. No room for that one to get through. Turns it away. They are really poor on the pressure here. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Quick pass to Albert. Scooped up along the wall by Huberdeau. Sends the pass over. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Moves it quickly over to Albert. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Oh, he'll feel that one. Edmonton's gained possession. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Hyman. Oh, what a stop with the glove by Markstrom! Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We got a tie game. Calgary's got the win off that draw. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Pugliarby's got it in the defensive end. Shot. Takes the puck. Quick shot. And a great save. Big time hit along the boards and there's no give there. Well, there isn't and You can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Oh, turns it aside once again. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. Here he is on the back end. And a solid save on the play there. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Past the halfway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Battle along the wall. Angles it over to Huberto. Moves it to Albert. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Moves it to Proberg. And he takes the feed. Huge steal in his own end. Grabbed along the board by Lindholm. Oh, a little low from the club. What an incredible save in a high-danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Getting into the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Taken along the wall by Kulak. And it's a quick pass to Dreisaitl. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. The Flames have it behind the cage. Takes the pass. Here they come on the attack. Shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Albert's got the puck, and he maintains possession of the puck here. The Oilers have it now. Through center. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Can't get a hold of that pass. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. And now he passes up to Hyman. And he coughs it up with the pass. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Quick feed to Broberg. Gaining momentum along the wing. Levels him against the wall. Oh, and he cracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Calgary's got the puck in their own end. Looks to pass it to Albert. Loose puck, and they're off to the races. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. 
And they send it right back to him. The Oilers take it along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. And now he moves it quickly to Albert. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. And that's stolen by Tangent. Turned aside with the glove by Skinner. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's all tied up. Nugent Hopkins wins possession off the draw. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Sharon Goldich. Snags with the glove by Skinner. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Opening face up here in this second period is about set to go. Well, let's see who comes out hungrier here in this second as we are still tied. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Oilers are going to need to find a way to stay connected and gain some speed through the neutral zone, James, because they're really not getting into the offensive zone with any speed at all. And guess what? That's why they're not getting any shots on net. They're lucky this game is still tied. Answered the call on that play. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Bouchard stick handling in his own zone. The Flames look to start the transition game. Pass to Albert. Puts it on net. Stones him with the blocker. Takes a shot. Denied by the defender. Nice block. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. Anderson's lugging the puck. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Nugent Hopkins wins the faceoff. Quick pass to Kane. Through the middle of the ice, they into the attacking zone. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Quick shot, turns it aside with the pad. Gets it over to Albert. The Flames looking against the half wall. Fires it. Slides it over with pace to Sharon Bovich. 
The Flames played along the boards. A chance on goal. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Moves it to Frankovic. That's wide of the net. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on net. Not good enough. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Face off coming up here. They were buzzing moments ago. Yeah, they really were, and it's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can. He's got to out battle his opponent now. The Oilers take over on possession. Here's a short pass to Rasichka. Slides it diagonally to Anderson. And that's off a stick. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Hammers a shot. And that goes off course off a body. Slides the puck over to Pugliarvi. Skates to the crease. Bumped off the puck. Calgary's in transition. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Takes a shot. And that's blocked in traffic. Trying to escape the pressure. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. From the right side, they gain the zone. Denies him on the play. Here's a centering pass. And that's stopped. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Fires it on it. And he had the answer on that one. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. Change up, change Sends it up. deep inside the offensive zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Feeds the puck across to Kadri. Right up the gut into the offensive end. The Flames will play it against the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Hyman. Passes over to Albert. Gain momentum up along the side. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Oh, he'll feel all of that after this one. The Flames are across the line and into the offensive end. And he stands tall in goal. Oh, there's one more. Passes it to McDavid. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Delayed penalty looming. Quick whistle stops the play. Well, you're going to get the interference call anytime you impede the forward movement of your opponent when they do not have the puck. you got to allow that to happen, otherwise you're going to the box. Shooting through traffic is an art, James. Not everyone can do it. you got to find a way to get the puck through. And when you have players that have the IQ and the shot, this is exactly what you do on your power play. You get it up high, and then you shoot the puck. But you need net front presence. You need hard, physical bodies in front to be able to collect the rebound and bury it. Handles the pass. Skates across the blue line. Here's a chance. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Oh, wow, stops the game. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Our broadcast crew catching up on this conversation on the bench right now between the head coach and the young rookie here, Cheryl. Well, they're coming off a great shift where they dictated pace, James, and I think it's really important that you string shifts together if you want to build momentum, and I think this is a reminder to the kid that, hey, you're part of this. Go repeat what that last line just did. Calgary's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Here we go. Puck's in deep. And he takes the dish. Picked up along the boards by Huberto. Quick pass to Uyghur. Feeds it down low. Centering to the This is 
exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Flames are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. Moves it quickly over to Cece. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Calgary's got the puck. Albert's moving the puck through his own zone. Oh! Kadri. Sharon Kovic has cut it against the boards. Tosses it on to Brown. Carries it in. A chance out front. And that's intercepted. Slick feed. Moves it to Albert. And that's blocked. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Tries to get it to Nurse. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Oh, and that one comes up short as he just gets enough of that one. Takes a shot, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Receives the pass, and he turns that one aside. Here's a short pass to Kadri, and makes the save. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a faceoff. The Flames have been impressive to watch tonight. They've had a lot of shots on net, and they lead it here in the second. Nugent Hopkins wins the draw on their own end. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Sends it over to Lindholm. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. And that's offside, stopping the play. Past the midway mark in this period, the Flames lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. With possession along the wall. Takes a shot. Denies him with the pass save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Flames come up with a defensive zone draw. Now a quick pass to Huberto. Here's a shot. It's in the back of the net. For an old goal. This is such an impressive goal, James. He's in a tight space, and he knows exactly where his opponent is. And those silky mitts, they're put to work. You know how often he's practiced on those. He makes his move, not once, twice, multiple times to be able to bury it. The Flames are now up by two here in the back half of the second, and they are really taking a squeeze on this game tonight. Yeah, there's so much motion. You're seeing their movement, in particular in the offensive zone, where they are just manhandling their opponent in terms of possession time. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Quick feed to McDavid. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Shell, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, they got to be expecting to get one soon here, as it is one side. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep braiding yourself to the box. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man is if ineffective. Gets it out of his own end. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Flames will play it in their own end. And they send it down the ice. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Shot on net. Turned aside with the glove by Markstrom. Goes right to 
the crease. Denies him in close. Bolton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Puck grab by Lindholm. Moves it to the middle, and that's intercepted. Moves it over to Kane. Grabs the puck here in their own end. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Calgary's got possession here in the offensive zone. That's blocked by Skinner. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes the stop. Backlund's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Huberdeau's almost ready to get back on the ice. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Loses his balance on the play. Great heads-up play in the neutral zone by Dreisaitl. And makes the save. Markstrom's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. Quick pass to Albert. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Steps inside the line. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does. He makes a nice save. There's back-to-back -back saves. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Drop the puck here on the final frame. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Edmonton's got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be. And it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. Makes the move in front. Comes up with the stop. Puck battle along the boards. The Flames gain possession. Calgary's regained possession of the puck. Moves it on over to Huberto. Slides the puck ahead to Lindholm. Albert's got it in the offensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Passes the puck over to Hyman. Moves it around along the half wall. And he makes the save. Slittering feed! Can't connect the play. Glove save. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Flames are up 3-1. Calgary's won the faceoff deep in their own end. They fight for it along the boards. Quickly over to Huberto. To the low slot. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Quick shot. What a stop. And the puck leaves the zone. From behind his own net. Big hit on the play. And there's the whistle. As it looks like the pane of glass is broken. Well, the good thing is, James, that the glass doesn't shatter like it used to. And they can just replace the pane. But they'll have to do that because everything is about safety first. The Flames lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Puck picked up by Weger. Passes it over to Albert. Quick shot! Oh, tremendous! 
Skinner's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Lindholm's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Grabs it in his own end. Directs it on over to Albert. Calgary's got the puck against the boards. With the puck hander! Oh, a clutch save! Moves it to Albert. And there's another stop! He made some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Denies the shooter on that play. A short pass to Hyman. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Takes a shot. Makes a move. What a save. Oh, that doesn't swing the momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Rocked him. And that slides right out to center ice. And he slides it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. Good hit on the play. Shot broken up along the right wall and into the offensive end quick feed to Kane he's got a step oh denies him on the play uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save the flames cross the line and gain the zone picked off by Nurse the Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Scores! Well, that's number two, Connor. Yeah, he's been all over the puck that he's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hat. This play does not happen without that beautiful pass, James. It's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck. And when you skate onto it, you have some speed. You can get that shot off the way you want. And he capitalizes perfectly. Calgary's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so. And you always look forward to a day off. And this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. Now, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. The Flames can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. McLeod's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Flames have it against the wall. And a little physicality ends that threat. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Skinner's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Flames just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Calgary's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and it's left saved by Skinner. Edmonton's looking to break out. Here they come up along the wing. Shot. The Flames continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Off the draw, they take possession. Feeds it on over to Anderson. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Shot! Here's a shot. Club save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's deflected off someone in front. That knocks him off the puck. The Flames take possession in the neutral zone. 
Sends it out in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Quick cross ice pass to Anderson. And that's intercepted by CeCe. Into the offensive end now. Puts it on that big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Scooped up along the wall by Hyman. Quick pass to Anderson. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Oh, just a great heads up play by Skinner. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Calgary's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Takes a shot. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Make a change. Make a change. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Calgary's got it in the neutral zone. Fires it! Stars over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Calgary's added yet another one here to the total tonight. I mean, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. And now it's grabbed by Anderson. Cutting to the slot. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Moves it quickly over to Hyman. Edmonton's on the attack. Fires it on now. Moussa to Huberto. He's been dangerous tonight. Two goals. Puck on his stick. Can he get the hattie? Dismiss that chance. From the blue line. They take control of it. Grabs the puck. Edmonton's grabbed a hold of the puck. Oh, what a hit. Throws it in. Picked up along the wall by Dreisaitl. Here's a blast. Can't get it to go. Here's a short pass to Albert. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Way too much. Congestion blocks that. Quick feed to Kane. With the blast. Answers the call and a big save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Columbus is coming up next on the schedule. A few select seats still remain for this one, so you better jump on them quick. Takes the feed. Solid check to slow him down. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. From point blank, sensational stop by Markstrom. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Tanev. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a chance! There's a save! Shot! Great save by Campbell! And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Calgary's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Eckholm's moving it ahead. Moves the puck along the half wall. Scores! Off the post and in! 
Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. Uh, not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Well, this is just a laser of a shot that beats the goaltender clean, and everyone knew it was coming, including the goaltender. They just couldn't catch up to it. The Oilers are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. The Flames have it now. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. And he loses control of the puck. Calgary's got the puck. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Cut into the front of the net. Denies him. I played against a few pass players like this, James, and they made me look like a turnstile. They can maneuver and manipulate at will, and that's exactly what he does. He just can't convert on his opportunity. Past the midway mark of the frame. The Oilers have a long way to go to try to get back into this one. Down by three. Quick pass to Huberto. And that's broken up. Feeds the puck to Brown. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Takes the shot. Fantastic save. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Here's a shot. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Albert. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Battle along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Brown. The Flames gain possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Big time stop there. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. The Flames have definitely used the shoot first mentality and look at the score here late. Calgary's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Gets a piece of it and will play off. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Calgary's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. This incredibly one-sided contest finally reaches its final minute. He scores! And he completes the hat trick! Well, he's been zipping and buzzing along the ice this entire night. Happy James and man, do the fans appreciate him. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. The Flames probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here, and I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop, and they've been consistent throughout the game, and consistency's always a word that coaches talk about, and if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. They've got some momentum here. Quick shot. Oh, big time save by Campbell. Dreisaitl's got it into offensive territory. Pass save and a beaut. Tanev's got the puck in his own zone. They've got numbers here. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Takes a shot. And he stops that cannon there. Wow. Nice zone entry from the right side. Let's 
James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Flames are trading tonight like a shooting gallery and are in cruise control late in the third. won the draw center. Slides the puck over. How did he stop that one? That'll do it. And man, oh man, what a special night. You can know his night is one he won't soon forget and a reminder to the league that when he is on, he's as dangerous as it gets offensively. He's dangerous and he put on a show, didn't he? Multiple goals, and I think that the mantra, the game plan, to salute the fans. Oh, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from Rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. about a contest up for grabs in just a moment but first things first we've got the beast on the line you wanted to touch on the rookie here again right yeah and, and we didn't get much out of him tonight but he's rolling along I, you know we get a win i thought he did some good things on the ice and he is still one of the bright spots on this team to me he fits though right would you not say would you not say that oh